remember Gorilla Publishing and Freeman were here a couple weeks ago, and we did a story on a vet um, that was getting the shit kicked out of him by like some super brave cops. It takes a really brave cop to beat an unarmed person. And that's why people believe that cops are so brave. Uh, but another story that you haven't seen yet is, is from my friend Eddie. Now, Eddie reaches out to me and he says, hey, listen, I have an unbelievable story. You're not gonna believe. Uh, it's just completely unbelievable. The cops beat the shit out of my daughter. And I said, I believe it. Uh, so I watched the video and the story itself is incredible. Uh, they arrest her, beat her, charge her for theft, right? For sh shoplifting. Meanwhile, she didn't have any items on her. She had never shoplifted. The cops had got it wrong again. So this is uh, DJ Eddie. He's auditing Haverhill, Massachusetts. I'm here with MAA. Uh, we've been here before. Really bad behavior. So we're going to go check it out. And we're going to ask him some questions. You've got this rolling? Not yet. Go ahead, hit that. Um, and then as we go through, you feel free, we're gonna show everyone the video to see if, if they think that's acceptable behavior. Okay. Yeah, so cops, Haverhill cops run up on his daughter. Uh, they, they hem her up, they... And a receipt from the local grocery store for that fruit. So first I need to do a records request. So I'm live here, auditing Haverhill's got my other camera, he's right with me. Hey, it's me. Yeah, hold on one sec. I just gotta, I gotta. You, you gotta, yeah, you gotta run and tell everyone we're here with cameras. I get it. No, Go ahead, do your thing. Go ahead, thing. Yeah, they just got, they, they just gotta run and tell everyone we're here with cameras. Yeah, see, so they gotta do something. It's not tell everyone we're here with cameras, but they go tell everyone we're here with cameras. Yeah, the wedding. Wedding. Okay. wedding. Hi, what can I do for you? Hey, I got to do a records request. While I'm doing that, he's got something he wants to show you. Can I just a piece of paper? Do you have a regular form, a formal form you use? Um, what are you trying to do? Uh, a records request. Oh, okay. Oh, actually, that's not big enough, I don't think. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be small. It doesn't need to be too big. So, well, what is it that you don't need to see? It's what just a, it, it's a video of the Haverhill police just beating the shit out of a 13-year-old girl. You didn't want to see that? I bet you the 13-year-old girl, 16-year-old girl didn't want to see that either. Does it make, does it, does it make you uncomfortable? The Haverhill PD just accused her of shoplifting, beat the holy hell out of her. It turns out she didn't shoplift. You didn't want to see it though? Yeah. What did I tell you? They weren't going to want to see that. You know what? Her father didn't want to see it either, but he wasn't given much of a choice. Thanks for being so brave. Let's do a records request. They knew exactly why you were here, bro. They didn't want to see that. That you prayed for that. Is anybody? No, she's calling the police. Her 17. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? But they don't even want to see what happened to you. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty no. sad, right? It's pretty sad. You know, yeah, I talked to him from the beginning of the show yesterday. I was going to have You didn't know? No, I didn't see it. I'll try to grab the records real quick. Okay. Mark, I'll take it. Thank you. Have a good day. Yep, you too. Bye. Bye.
video that anyone will watch. All right, here we go. I've done my records request now. Yeah, they, they didn't want to watch the video of the the child getting beat up by the Haverhill cops. Yeah, I'm just so I'm today I'm doing a, a pretty simple request. Hi, I can help not you. Not a here. ton of not a ton of information here. I'm just looking. Hey. Yeah, I, I'm just saying that I'd like the names of every officer that has beat a child or a woman in the past five years. Did you put your contact in I did, yeah. Any idea how many cops that is? Well, I mean, 40% of them say they beat their wives. I did, right at the bottom is my email address. Yes, ma'am. Okay, no phone number? No, 40% of cops say they, they beat their wives, admittedly in a test. So maybe it's a, huh? Yeah, and make a copy, please, for each officer that's beat a child or a woman in the past five years, please. Might be a lot of copies. <laughs> Making copies. I'm gonna make a copy for uh for and, and please yeah, just a copy for every officer that's beat someone. They don't have enough paper. Yeah, they might not have enough paper. I'll give this to the city clerk. Yeah, I don't know what she does with that request. She probably throws them in the trash. Thank you. Here you go. This is for you. That's uh, that's kind of like a, it's like the Bitcoin of activism. <laughs> yeah, just here letting people know that the Haverhill PD beat up a kid a couple days ago. They did. Just careful there. Just, we want we want them all to know. Oh, look at all these signs they have up since our last visit, Manor. I didn't know they put up these signs for me. Hey, bro. I didn't know they put up these signs for me. <laughs> oh, that's they so, there before. No, that's so sweet. Although we missed the assessor's office. If they're going to put up a lot of signs, then I'm going to go to each office and see what I can assess today. I'm assessing the situation. Ooh, wow, there's a super chat there. Um, I didn't see it. I'm going to go back see if I can find it. Careful, the Haverhill PD beat up some some girl. That's why we're here today, young kids. So be careful if you see the Haverhill PD. All right. All right. Oh, Twyla, thank you. Yes, yeah. Okay, perfect. Good morning. How are you? I just wanted to ask uh, if you had um. Have you had heard uh, a story? Um, came out not too long ago. It was just a 16-year-old girl that was beaten by the Haverhill PD. They thought she had shoplifted, and well, the cops were wrong again. Did you want to see it real quick? No. Her dad didn't want to see it either, but he didn't have a choice, and neither did she. When they were beating the hell out of her, if you just want to watch it for a second, that's your police department. Does it sound like she's having a good time? No, it doesn't. Does it sound like this probably is not? A good time for her and her family. I'm surprised by how many people don't want to see what's happening with their police in their city. Okay. Well, you've seen it now, right? Did it make you a little uncomfortable? That's all I was asking. Yeah. All right. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Spread the word about the Haverhill PD, though. It didn't make me feel uncomfortable. It didn't? No. So you enjoy seeing the Haverhill Police beat no, the shit out of kids? I, I love the Haverhill Police. When they're beating kids? Okay. Is that what you do? You lick the whole boot? Right. I love the Havel police. I love them. Love them. Deep yeah. throat it. The whole boot. Okay. They, they keep 65,000 people safe for lunatics like you. Yeah. Like, get out of here. Yeah, right. yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. They did. Yeah. And yeah. they beat that girl senseless, didn't they? I don't care. Record this. <laughs> there you go, Grandpa. Oh, my God. I appreciate Grandpa. it. I wish I would, Grandpa. He must have been a cop. I'll show you Mr. Oh, Muscles. Mr. Muscle. I'm get where I said it 15 minutes. You are, you would. That's that's, right. that's yeah, a threat. Yeah, right. That's well, a threat. well, you know what? The, you can take a picture of it. The, the cops beat her up in less, so that's pretty oh, good. Oh, oh, the cops. Okay, so bad. The I love the cops. I can tell. I love the, all of them. The lunatics usually do. <laughs> no, I was off the road. <laughs> that's the re can you, can no, you give us that's the reason I stopped you today? All right. See, that's why the cops get away with. Exactly. That's why the cops get away with beating kids. 
You're in the wrong office. You want to complain what you find the right office. Only you couldn't complain. No, I'm in, the, too dumb. I'm in the assessor's too office. Dumb to know. I'm in the assessor's you're office. Like, too, I came. You're too dumb hey, to know. Don't assault her. I bet you won't film, sir. You might end up in jail today. I came to assess what an idiot you are, so I'm in the right I'm, office. I'm smarter than you, pal. Yeah? No, you're not. You're you just assaulted the lady. And you're indoors. Take your sunglasses no, off. No, Stop no, it, I said. He's being disordered. Oh, big pay. time, man. He's he needs to be out. He needs to be the cuffed the and cop, stuffed. The cops will take care. The cops will take care of that. I feel bad about you. He got right about that. Well, that escalated quick. Will you let Father Time sit loser. there? What a loser! Man. Let I Father Time. That lady have to deal with him. Homeboy yeah. needs a Xanax. Real piece of shit that guy is. He needs a Xanax. Remember, he beat your ass. He threatened you. Hello. How are you today? Good, thanks. I was just wondering if you and if you hadn't heard of it, that's fine too. Um, it's not like super publicized. Have you heard um, a story of a 16-year-old kid? Uh, she was at a at a supermarket and the Haverhill PD you know beat the hell out of her. Okay. Is this um tax related? Yeah, yeah, the the Haverhill PD is paid by tax dollars. I was just wondering if you had oh, heard is about this it. Real estate or excise tax related? Um well, what was the real estate this happened at? Uh, market basket. Market it happened at the real estate of market basket. Hello? Yeah. So you can ask you know, this is what they did to I my daughter. I didn't sell this car. I don't need an you abatement. I'm keeping the car. Could, I'm just switching the place. Okay, I can do so Have, have you heard of this? Can't comment. Can I have your name? Kim. Can you just take a quick look at the video? No, thank you. What the Haber Police Department did to my kids? No, thank you. Yeah, he, he he didn't want to see it either. He was he was he was still, devoid of choice. Thank you. Excuse us, young lady. Uh, I, I'm I'm surprised as to how many people amazed, don't want to see this. Take two minutes to watch the video. Just in these people, you know? Oh, we were already in this office. Oh, I know you. Oh, I know. He stroke it out. He said, "I know you." See, this is why, this is why, you know, such lunatics support the police. Exactly. They don't want to see it because they know. Yeah, the first office is on first, right? It's right here, isn't it? Oh, there's a whole line of people. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to cut you. The happening office. Oh, they changed the painting. No more flooring for me. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. She's not 77 years old. I've got a tattoo and I've never done pots. Why don't I just do both? Oh, good for you. You're getting there. Okay, now I, I just got the legs left. Uh, what's that? Yeah. I, I, you don't want better that than something else. What's that? You can't get one. I can't. I can't. Of anything, really. Very, very cool. All right. I took great pride in bragging to everybody that I got uh, my Missouri voting license permit. Because I visited there, I went online, I did the course, I took great, great pride. So I, I was really, I was on the boat and I was talking about it. I was like, I'm the only one here that's got a Missouri voter's permit. And then someone was like, where's the, where's the starboard? I couldn't have looked like a bigger fool. I'm turn, I'm pointing. Oh, okay. Okay. Feel better, my friend. I'm sorry. Are, are you the mayor? No, I'm not the mayor. No. Well, you could be the mayor. You have a nice big smile. You're saying hello to people. She has to look at the potential. Absolutely. I imagine she's she's busy today. Um, Unfortunately, yes, she's in the meeting. Yeah. My name's Josh. Hi, Josh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. I'm a, I'm a journalist. I run a YouTube channel called Accountability for All. Real big following here nationwide. And um, there was a, a story that was very tough for me to swallow and for my audience who are working on. Um, 
my friend here is actually a resident of Haverhill. His daughter is uh, 16 years old, and there was a call made from a convenience store to the police saying that there had been some shoplifters. When the police arrived, they misidentified his daughter as one of those shoplifters when she wasn't. Um, there's, there's video of it. And, and to put it mildly, they beat your gut at basket. And I know that there's a new mayor here. There's some new policies here. There's some new great people, 16 years old. I have daughters of my own. This is hard for me to watch. And no one wants to even look at this video. Uh, and I was wondering how we can make an appointment to speak with the mayor and how Absolutely. we can make this Sure. I have a constituent important. services form that we ask everybody to fill out. Okay. And then that way you have all of your contact information. And then I can check the mayor's schedule and I can find time for you to, for you to come and meet me. That's great. Okay. That's Let great. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. If you just want to fill this form out, Perfect. and then I'd be more than happy to um, you know, look at your schedule, uh, make an appointment, and, uh, and we, can, we can talk about all the issues. That yes, ma'am. Did you want to watch the video? I'm going to have. It's only like a minute video. I, I can't watch the video right now. I'm so sorry, but um, definitely please bring that to the meeting and be more than happy to look at it at that time. Why, why don't you fill this out? Your 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 dad. I'll take this from you. Thank you. And your name is again? My name is Christine. I'm Christine. the chief of staff. Nice okay. to meet you, Josh. Josh. Nice to meet you. Yes. I've been here before, and uh, as I'm sure you may have heard, uh, you, you heard great things about this man. All we're trying to do is, like, I got a daughter of my own, and I watched this video, and my guts churned, and when I grew up, <clears throat> men didn't put their hands on women. Like, it, was, it was a little bit of a different era, and I'm watching this video, and I get it. Listen, cops are imperfect people, and they made a mistake. But this is a 16-year-old girl, and it's kind of like, hey, you got beat up, our bad, have a good day. And that's unacceptable. No, the escalation Excuse tactics, me. nothing. Sure, so if you could just fill out the form, give, give me all your contact information, let me look at her schedule. I'd be more than happy to have you come in. Yes, ma'am. And meet with her and explain everything that's been happening. Thank you very okay? much. Of course. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Of course, yes, of course. That's very nice. She's the chief of staff. She's going to put us in contact here. Yeah. Uh, they're working in there, so um, if you want, I can bring you into the meeting um, in the back of the other door. Uh, an angel. Go ahead, sir. You have a good day, sir. Thank you. Good team. Thank you, you so too. much. Take care, sir. Have a good day. Is that yes, the after Angel the Starbucks? And, um, yeah. and Leslie, <laughs> they, they sent me something saying they can go back door, yeah, and I just wanted to make sure that it was open. That's why I came around. Uh, and I, I, I didn't would, know that this was. And we're trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. I can um, tell you don't have to. They won't meet. Probably. So if, if you just take that information and then um, I mean, we'll at the end of the day, this is schedule. Like, okay. All right. All set. Thank you very okay. much. Of course. I appreciate it. How long does it generally take to to hear back? Oh, I, I should get back to you by the end of the day. I awesome. appreciate it. Yeah, because I just much. need to look at her schedule, and we can coordinate a time that works best for everybody. All right. Appreciate All right. It. Thank you very no much. No problem. You take take care. care. How you doing? There's a different lady here before when I came. Did she go with the old mayor? There's like a secretary. When when the old guy that was abusing all the teachers was here. Oh. Before the nice mayor. Different um, executive assistant. Our executive assistant isn't actually in today, so I'm just covering for him. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, this is a tough one for us. This, you know, a 16 year old girl, I, I got kids, and it's just. I don't know. I don't know how things like that happen. I hear you. I hear you. You know, it's like, it's one of those things cringe. You don't want anyone to see it, and you don't want to watch it, but you have to show everyone so they know what's going on. Um, do you know if investigations into police departments are done by, initiated by City Hall Mayor's Office, or is that done by the police department internally? Do I'm you know? sorry, I don't actually... No worries. Okay, perfect. Let me just make sure, okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, is this Eddie? Yeah, that's me. Okay. Sorry guys, I just need to. Thank you very much. No Appreciate your help today. No We're gonna try and get some some justice for this young lady. You know, if the cops are wrong, they should be held accountable. And I don't think uh, you tell me if I'm wrong, but I don't think um, beating up a kid is ever okay. You know. Even if it was cause of shoplifting, the way they escalated that was from zero to a hundred immediately. Yeah. You know what I mean? I I don't think that's was the proper way to handle it. And you know. She ended up calling us from the police department. They didn't even want her to call us to go meet up with them to see what was going on and see how we could fix the situation. They just went hands on, brought them to the police station. From the police station, they brought them to Lawrence Court because they don't have juvenile court here. 
And they made her call us and say, hey, I'm at the Lawrence Courthouse. They didn't, they didn't want anything to do with us. They didn't want to talk to us, nothing. I'm really sorry about your experience. Sorry, I have to... It's yes. okay. Thank you very Thank much you. for your uh, assistance. Okay. Uh, guys, so I heard some, some good things about the, the mayor's office here today. What's going on, fellas? How are you today? Oh man, you guys got all the tools, huh? I got one of those little crappy deck, black and decker drills and I'm not allowed to use it because I might have drilled a hole through something. Yeah. I'm not allowed to use tools. So you guys can actually use these without hurting yourselves or others. I wouldn't go that far. So my wife was right. <laughs> well, I mean, not, no, so not, not, not intentionally, I mean, <laughs> unintentionally. <laughs> have a good day, fellas. Thank have you. Have a good day, guys. You work it? He does? He's been walking around for 25 minutes. You know, the school department might want to know about this. In fact, I helped them out a couple months ago. They had a big strike, yeah. and I helped them out when they were under the tyranny of the old mayor. They might yeah. want to know about this. They, they might. Hey, how are you? I just wanted to oh, check hi. and see how you guys did on the strike. Did you win? I was watching it closely. I know you guys deserved what you were asking for and then some, and now the Grinch is gone. I was hoping that you guys, did they did they wind up doing a, a salary raise for you? Yeah. Good awesome. for you. Yeah. Good for you. I was watching, Um, I don't know, I don't remember his name, but he had kind of like a, uh, like a, almost like a vinyl hat, a mustache, and he went up and he spoke. He kind of seemed like he was spearheading the, the group a little bit. And he went up and spoke to the mayor with such veracity. It was awesome. And then uh, he, you know, he said, your legacy of Haverhill is going to be, it was just, the guy did great. And I uh, thought it was incredible. So I'm glad that that happened. Um, I also had stopped by because I know you guys are the teachers and the only ones really doing any work here in Haverhill. From what I'm seeing, um, there was a 16-year-old girl um, not too long ago that um, the cops arrived and they thought that she was shoplifting. There had been a call for a shoplifter. She was with two of her friends. It hadn't been her, um, but the police didn't find that out until after they gave her a good beating. Um, and I just want to let you know that I know you guys are, are teachers and your job is to mold young minds and protect the interests of children. I just wanted to let you know that that happened here in Haverhill. And this, this man is the young lady's father. Um, goes to Haverhill schools and just, it's tough. I know people don't like to think about that. Uh, she was actually our, waiting for the bus the city bus to go to school with her friends. So I don't know if there's um, you know, any t any sort of uh, resources that you offer the kids. Of course, you can do that privately, but you know, she she got a good beating by the Haverhill PD and all she got for their mistake was it's only 60 seconds. a brief apology. They grabbed him by the neck, the shoulders, and she came home cut the branches on her neck, her face. They didn't know why they were being accosted. They kept saying they didn't have anything. They kept pulling their bags. She said, call my parents, they didn't want to call. Interviewed her for hours without a guardian present, without even knowing to find the guardians. Turns out that she had some fruit in her back with a receipt, uh, in her backpack with and a receipt to match from, from Market Basket that she had purchased. I can tell you a couple That's my people. daughter on the ground. Just turned 16. I know you guys do a good job. You do an excellent job. My mother was a teacher for 40 plus years. She, she went, I think I told you before, she went up against Salute You and they were trying to get a couple extra, couple extra dollars. It's a tough job you have and protecting our kids is, is what this is all about. And I wanted to make sure that you were aware of the situation. Um, cause I, I've seen how much you fight for yourselves and your kids. I did a whole video on it. I followed it in the news and I don't watch the news, but I did for you guys. So you kick ass, but I just thank you for watching that. Thank you. Can I have your name? Your name? My name is Debbie. Hi, Debbie. I'm Thanks, Debbie. Debbie. It's nice we'll to see you. you. Have a good day. Thank you. Take care.
it's important for the for the kid for the teachers to know uh, like like Eddie said um, his daughter thank you was waiting for the bus when this happened now um, we're with MAA audits of course here today uh, we've done a lot of work together we've went a lot of places together you're one of my close close friends um, and we've seen a lot of kind of messed up stuff how does this video rate for you this is this is unbelievable to me. This is the very reason why I'm out here. Yeah. To meet someone that has actually happened to. One way I love it, another way I hate it because of what happened. But I love that this guy is reaching out and he wants some accountability, and, and that's why we're here. And we ain't gonna go away until we get some. That's what it on the specific issue. Topic here. Yeah, that's what I mean. Because this involves a juvenile. Okay, it's bad enough when they do it to adults and get away with it. We can't allow this. Yeah. We're gonna go full force. Absolutely. Well Great. said. Great. Couldn't have said it better myself. Great. Oh, this office is locked. They don't want us visiting. I wouldn't be surprised if most of them are gonna be locked now. So authorized so personnel. Now they would have had to have closed access to everybody. Oh, this is City Auditor. Eddie. I just <laughs> where the city auditor. I just, I just. What, what is Haverhill? Is it a town? A uh, city. It's a, it's a city. Yeah. And and what am I? An auditor. What does that say? City. <laughs> city. <laughs> Is that my so, office? Yeah, I think it is. Gotcha. Okay, I just, I just wasn't. We got it locked. Right? I wasn't. It's secure. I wasn't sure. it's secure. Is, that, is that the Pokemon? No. All right. It's, is it is it secured? It's secure, MAA. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Good. Authorized auditors only. Oh my God! Look at they have all these cool little signs that they put up on every freaking door since my last visit. See these these guys are the real heroes. Right, they run into fires and stuff like uh, the, the fire department. They do more work than all. Right? Yeah, that's for sure. I'm just gonna let them know that today. Hi there. Hey, I just want to let you know um, that the firefighters are awesome. They do the real work. They run into burning buildings. They put out fires, mm -hmm. and they don't get put on TV to be celebrated every time they do like the like the the cops. Mm -hmm. well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, you know, real work, like this guy, his kid, 16, police mistake, mistook her for a shoplifter and they beat the holy hell out of her. Turned out they were wrong. And then cops run in to burning buildings and bring children out of them. I just see a huge difference in the services that you guys do. And specifically because of that, I wanted to thank you. Thank you. We appreciate that. Yeah, and please extend that. And, and I'm being real. This gentleman right here is his daughter is 16 years old. Uh, re police responded to a call for possible shoplifting. They didn't realize until now she was waiting for her bus to go to school. Wow. And at that point, um, they beat the hell out of her and they, they found some things she had purchased. Uh, and after that, not an apology. Um, they wanted to double down and solidify their mistakes and they wound up arresting her. That arrest is going to be reversed and we're setting them up with an attorney. But uh, the whole point was, you know, you're supposed to trust public servants, right? And and I've, I haven't seen a story yet where, uh, you know, a firefighter's done something like that. I just, I, you, they, they do some real work here. Yeah. And while the Haverhill PD is beating kids, the Haverhill Fire Department is saving them. Well, thank you. We appreciate that. Yeah, well, no. yeah, thank Say you. thank you for, for what it's worth. Yeah. It's nice to meet you. My name's Josh. Nice to meet you. And nice to meet you. You, and I will, you, you as well. Thank you. Hello. This is the, the young lady's father. It's just a 60 second video. Viewer discretion is of course advised. Then and then contact the parents. They went immediately hands on. And then later, 
they were interrogated without parent, parents being present, without even parents being notified. They were grabbed by the neck. And then you see the Haverhill PD running into houses and saving people from fires, and you try and figure out what the hell is wrong with the system. I can see you're upset, ma'am, and I apologize. I know it's awful. You just turned, you just turned 16, too. Yeah. Waiting for the bus. We expect more, and I mean, we know we can get more out of this office. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank Sorry you. if the video upset no, you. Yeah, I could imagine how he felt as yeah, I her father. and parent, yeah. I, I still get upset every time I hear it. I'm getting upset. Look at me. Thank you. I, I, I hope you guys have a, a wonderful day. Thank you, ladies. Wow, that um, the the official in the fire department. She was she was in tears, man. Yeah. She was in tears. That's uh. Oops, hold on. I have a feeling what's going on here. Restricted area. Restricted area. No, no signs. You're good. I think it's just another entrance. How are you doing, sir? Hey, Careful the Hebrew PD, the B kids. Were these signs here before, Josh? No, none of them were. Yeah, they look fairly new. I have to get upstairs now. There's all sorts of. Um, guys, thank you for whoever's been doing the super chats. I haven't been able to watch because I'm kind of watching my surroundings here today. Maybe we just go around. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go. All right, listen, you, you 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 got it. You ready to go up some stairs? Yeah. I'm not. Let's try it anyways. I'm already sweating on this floor. <laughs> the heat is like now. Uh, shout out to all the members, moderators, and everyone watching. Um, so, this guy reaches out to me, and probably. Did you think you were ever gonna hear back? Probably not. <laughs> I reached out to him, and I think still your your daughter was kind of like, oh, I don't think he's gonna, I don't think they're gonna cover it. Yeah, she's been asking for, you know, I know you guys are busy, but she's been asking for a few weeks. Not too busy for this. I, the schedule's been crazy, but never too busy for this. Private, please don't enter. Is that what it says? No, this door, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's the same. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. How are we doing? Hi. Careful if you see the Haverhill PD, they're beating kids the past few weeks. They have. They have been doing that. I don't know. What, what, what office is this? Oh. Building, building department. Hey, how are you today, ladies? Yeah, you must be having a good day. Big smiles and everything. Yeah. Is it a slow day or a busy day here today? Right now, a little bit slow. A little bit slow. So, so here's what you do. You throw a sign on the door and you say, building's on fire, putting it out. You head outside, you catch some rays while it's <laughs> not busy. You, got, you guys are having a good day, though? Yeah, pretty good. Good to hear. I'm just, I'm spreading the word today. Um, you ladies are very nice. Uh, I'm not here to, to yell at you. I think I already got that out of my system. Uh, but this gentleman has a daughter that lives here in town. He lives here in town while waiting for the school bus to go to school. Um, Haverhill Police, um, I guess we could say, profiled her and thought that she was a shoplifter. She was not, they were wrong. Uh, and then they beat the hell out of her on video. And um, after they beat her up, they arrested her they interrogated her without the presence of a guardian or parent uh, and then never even called the parents. He found out that his daughter had been interrogated by police, wrongfully arrested and beaten after it had all happened. And I thought that you ladies should know that that happened here in Haverhill. I'm usually covering stories about adults that this happens to. And now this is happening to a child. It's, it's incredible. There were two 16 year olds there. If you have a second, I just, um, you don't have to watch it, but this is a video of what happened. And just so you know and you can spread awareness that this happened to a local here. Now we, got, we got these uh, officials doing this to us. 
a minor. I don't know if you could hear, but there's traffic. The, that was one of the cops laughing in the background. And she's just saying, you just punched my stomach, and the cop's laughing. My daughter's screaming in the background because they had, she has scoliosis, and they had their arm rested on her shoulder. She was at the Westgate Plaza sitting where those branches are in the front, and they kept pushing her back, and she got like cuts and indents of the branch cut in her face, her neck. So, I'm sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable. I'm not here to, it's just, I want people to know that, that this happened. You know, that this girl, she's 16, she has not had a voice since that day, and I think it's important for her to know that she has a voice, it's heard, and people are listening. So, thank you for, for watching and listening. Thank you, guys. And if you see the Haverhill PD, be careful. Yep. The two first offices, Danny, want to watch the video. <laughs> when it comes to minors. Thank you. Pretty sure they, thank you, guys. Well, I think, it's, I think it's pretty clear that a lot of the people that are taking the time to watch this video are like, very uncomfortable yeah, by it. Like, their faces just change. And what, what did I tell you in the car? Yeah. I said they, 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 they're going to feel uncomfortable. So they're either going to watch because they're uncomfortable and they think it deserves change or they're going to not watch. It, it, and it's probably women that have still children like in the school system. Why don't mind? You need to know. Not want to know. They need to know this stuff. Yeah. You have to know what's going that whole on. That whole situation could have been handled differently. Well, it just could have never happened. That too. It didn't even need to be handled. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Good, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you today? Good. Good. Thanks for having a, such a nice smile, being, being ready to talk to us. Uh, do you personally, and you don't have to answer any of these questions, it's not an interrogation, I'll leave that to the cops. Um, do you happen to know any Haverhill police officers? I personally do not. You do not, okay. Um, if I told, and again, you don't have to answer any of these, I'm gonna try to put you on the spot, you can just say no thanks. Um, if I told you that the Haverhill police profiled a 16 year old girl waiting at the bus stop for her bus, beat the hell out of her, then arrested her, found out afterwards that she had done nothing wrong, would you believe me? No comment. Okay, um, fair enough. That did happen. Uh, and I'm here today because Every little girl has a dad, and this is what her dad looks like. Hello. And understanding this is an uncomfortable situation for you because you're like, oh, what's happening? Please don't blindside me. You're such a nice person. We're just spreading the news today that the scumbags who work for the Haverhill PD beat up a little girl because they weren't brave enough to do it to people like me. So I'm just spreading that, okay. spreading that awareness today. Sorry, this is, it's, it's not your fault. Yeah. <laughs> Do you? So you understand? Uh, no, Kentucky. Well, they were at the market basket waiting for the uh, city bus to come through, and they're sitting in the front there, and there's a bunch of bushes, and that's my daughter being thrown on the ground. And, I mean, uh, she has scoliosis, and when they put all her weight on her, she got indents of the branches poking her all over her face. And it's horrible. Yeah, that's terrible. And you know, like, let's just like say for a second, because it was a, could they responded for coffee shoplifting. Let's just say for a second. It doesn't that, matter what they did. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, and I listen. My kid once walked out with a pack of gum, and we were in the car, and I said, oh, and he goes, didn't know better. And I went in, I had the manager called over, and we had this whole learning. But listen, we, don't, we know that we don't steal from other people. Mm -hmm. That wasn't the case. Even if it was, it's, you gotta call your parents. You screwed up. I hope you enjoy the grounding you're going to get because it's probably not going to end until you're 18, right? Like, but to know that grown men and the most disturbing part of the video is you can hear one of the cops laughing in the background when she says you punched me in the stomach. It's 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 tough. And you have to. Again, not trying to put you on the spot. I just.
trying to spread the news. Because I think it's important for people to know that and that could happen. These cops, do you know what their discipline was? They weren't even investigated. They don't care. And this is a problem. But thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Sir. Have a great day. Have a good day. Absolutely. Take care. And this is how someone had said it in the someone had said it in the chat. They said, "This is how you you redress the government." And guys, um, if hello, you work here, man? No, I don't. Oh, you look. You got a nice suit there and everything. What do you? Are you are you running for mayor? What are you doing? Come on, I know you got something going on. I'm a funeral director. Oh, you are. Uh, hey, let me let you know something real quick before you. Leave. I'm not not ambushing you. Um, it's your local business live here in town maybe you don't uh this gentleman uh his daughter uh was 16 she was waiting at the bus for school uh when Haverhill police thought she was a shoplifter turns out she wasn't and they beat the hell out of her um knowing that you're a funeral director i don't know how many how many clients you get that came straight from the police department mm -hmm. but i just want to let you know all right, all right have a good day sir because i don't know how many people survive it sometimes they might go right there he's the, he's the guy he's a funeral director so maybe you see some of these people after the cops are done with them Busy funeral director. Oh, listen! Don't, don't get it twisted. So, so auditing Haverhill, Massachusetts. He's he's from New York. He's um, he's from New York. The guy's a badass. And if this was twenty, I, I don't even have to tell you what would happen. Twenty years ago, this had happened. What would you have been doing? Different story, huh? Completely. Yeah. But now he needs to be there for his kids when the Haverhill PD are assaulting them. So he has to stay level. Completely different story. Rambo. Yeah, I hear you, brother. I, this is this is nuts. Let's uh, let's check out some of the super chats. I'm gonna give all of these to uh, Eddie Rose. Um, uh, we got a two dollar forty nine ninety nine hundred one ninety eight. So when those come in next month on the 21st, we'll, we'll send them over to Auditing Haverhill Mass. So he can give them to his, his daughter. I don't think there's anything upstairs, is there? No. <laughs> I don't think so. uh, let's see. Uh, well, uh, I mean, it, it's, a, it's, a much, it's a much quicker audit when they shut down half of the, half of the, half of the building for us. <laughs> and, and I will tell you something. They were prepared. Because when I pulled up, Auditing Haverhill, Massachusetts was getting some B-roll footage in front of City Hall. And I literally said to him, I said, where are you? Where are you standing? And he said, oh, I'm standing here. And I said, do you see a police truck driving by you? He says, yes. And then another police SUV is pulling into the parking lot. I said, why the fuck are the police storming the gates? I haven't even got here yet. He was out front. He had his tripod up for a minute and they were already reacting like stormtroopers. Rookie mistake. I should have hit it. <laughs> he, he gets to the car. I was like, oh, well, the element of surprise is gone. <laughs> Yeah, um, they, the, the police wives solicit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Were you talking about something else? Uh, oh, okay, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, MAA's I my guy. We've been office. through some hey. shit. Well, yeah, if they had an office, they wouldn't be so discreet about their solicitation. Well, the mayor's here. I'm wondering if we can catch him. Catch oh, that's by, fire department. We can that's catch him by surprise. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna make a uh, video about crazy people. Maybe you said that guy that was in the clerk's office. I posted a video. He's gonna be, he's gonna be my like, final suspect. I posted a video a couple weeks ago. The police came knocking on my door saying there was a domestic violence call. That's them retaliating. Yep. Oh, it's nice and cool in this office. Hey, hey, how are you today? Hey, nice to mayor. see you today. Hey, um, uh, question. Now, I'm just, you don't have to answer. These aren't like ambush questions or hard to ask ones. I know um, who you are, so ask, ask your question. You know who I am? Who am I? You guys doing uh, freedom of speech audits or something like that? I'm more of a, a child's advocate today. Okay. Um, let me ask you a question. Do, do you happen to personally know any Haverhill police officers? I don't. Okay. I don't. Fair, fair enough. Yeah. Um, if I told you that a 16-year-old girl was waiting for her school bus... And she was wrongly targeted 
as a shoplifter. It turns out she wasn't at the end of everything. In this city? In this city, yeah. waiting for bus. And two Haverhill cops beat the hell out of her. And while she was saying, you're punching me in the stomach, one of the cops is laughing. If I told you that happened to a 16-year-old girl waiting for the school bus to go to school recently, would you believe that that happened? I can believe a lot of things. Right. If that did happen, that's concerning. Um, obviously, you want to know why that happened and why the police felt like they needed to restrain, restrain her. That's some of the, the video footage there. One of the other friends recording. Oh, that's in Haverhill? That's at the Westgate Market Basket. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see the, uh, the Market Basket. In the they after this they in, they interrogated her. Never called a parent to be present during interrogation. Right. Never called a parent at all to let them know that she was even was she being violent in custody. Like no, no. no. they wanted to search her backpack. They said go ahead, and they said then at that point they said she was under arrest. Oh, they found so something she had purchased. Was she choose the shoplifting? Or she did. Oh, okay. I think they 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 profiled. They were told yeah. someone was shoplifting because so it turns they out they were market basket. No, no. The actual story. They, they went to the Walgreens on River Street. From Walgreens, they had came out, waited for the lights. They saw two cruisers going to the Walgreens parking lot. So they crossed the street, and then they ran to the bus station at Westgate so they can take the city bus to go to school. As they're sitting there waiting for the bus to show up, these guys pulled into the Westgate market basket, pulled up front, Immediately grabbed, the, yeah, yeah. immediately grabbed their bags saying, you took something at Walgreens, you took something at Walgreens. And my kids like, call my parents. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. And then when they grabbed, finally grabbed their bags that they had them in handcuffed, they searched their bags. They found a fruit. Uh, I think it was an orange and a Reese's Pieces, <coughs> a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. And then so when they saw that in the bag, they were like, okay, they have nothing from Walgreens. So what they did was they went in Market Basket and solicited a shoplifting. Wow. So did they arrest her? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, for what? Restraining, uh, re uh, resisting arrest. Well, or they something they, like they that, shoplifting, or? resisting arrest, assault and battery on a police officer, and obstruction of justice. I gotta tell you one thing. You're a nice dude. But grown men, thirty pound tack yeah. vest, yeah. taser, sidearm, yeah, bulletproof right. vest, backup. <laughs> what kind of pussy yeah, yeah. gets battered yeah. by a sixteen year old? Yeah. A that, real big that pussy. Probably should be investigated by the. Well, they, 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 I'm glad you said it. They, they don't want to. Listen, yeah. they, they can investigate, and police will normally you know, find the wrong deal. But... It, it's one thing to see a video like that, but you don't. I, what I don't know is what prompted the police to restrain her. Bad you know, police hearsay. Yeah, why? Yeah, they got a call that there were shoplifters. No, I, I understand and I think, the context, but why didn't she? So she didn't want to submit to a to a search of her bag, and well, they, so what she said was call my parents because they came in from zero to a hundred just went right yeah. towards them and my daughter has scoliosis so as they're pushing her back grabbing her by the neck pushing her back they're sitting right in front of the, the market basket where the bushes are in the back and the bushes poked her scratched her face i mean she oh. was so distraught and so traumatized when she i've never laid a hand on her yeah. not her and her sister none of my kids i have nine daughters so this is your daughter That's, yeah okay. not, not one of my kids have ever been screamed at yelled at or smacked beaten nothing they don't they don't see that at home yeah. me and my wife never argued we always debate stuff they've never seen an argument at home they've never seen aggressiveness yeah. nothing and for them to, to do that and decide that they can do it and and just and say the what, hell with everything did, else yeah. police did you go to talk about like the police chief or something like that or no we wanted to spread the news first and get it out we set up a meeting with the mayor for him um because the problem is is if the police investigate themselves they don't really have to always, find any wrong. It's always problematic. And secondly, you know, and, you know, and, and even if they let's say let's say she shoplifted, right? Outside of their presence, they have no reasonable articulable suspicion. There's no probable cause. So still to search them, they would have had to have a warrant or have gained consent. Yeah, yeah. The minor can't give consent. They would have to got it from the parents. Yeah. But they jumped out of the car, ran up to the kids, put their hands on first. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the Haverhill PD are such pussies that I mean I don't want to. Jesus Christ, if this is an all-girls school, they must think that's a terrorist camp. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you're, yeah, we're no, just it, spreading it, the word. It's, it's their training. It's I, curious why they felt the need to apply that level of force to her. And why laugh when she says, you're punching me in the stomach? Why laugh? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not asking. I'm just, they, they, these are questions that... I, I'm not an expert of, you know, what are the good ones these want to know. things, you know, yeah. what causes somebody to do something, stress or whatever, but... yeah. 
Hey. With the po power to you. Thank, thanks for game? talking to us, man. I, I appreciate it. Many people, when we say he's just well, here to I, talk about I, what I happened. Think people get like taken back. I was like, oh, what are you doing? Like, okay, right, yeah. you know, just... See, I was here last time. I remember when you were here. Like, and I was nice to everyone that was nice to me. And I was rude to nobody else. Yeah. This is bigger than myself. I, uh, this girl should have a voice. Yeah. Her father should have a voice. And and they don't right now. We just want everyone to know what happened. Yeah, no, I they... They drive by my house and smile on a consistent basis. They know who I am. So we're going to take some badges. And uh, and since those cops are such pussies, we're going to take some nuts, too. If they have them, they don't need them. They can give them to us. We'll hold them for them. But uh, you know what happened? You know what happened, though? I, the, the cops, the Haverhill cops must have thought that his daughter was their wives, and that's why they tried to beat them so quickly. No, but seriously, have a good day, man. Thanks for chatting with us. Thank you so much. Well, that's not a bad idea. Rent a billboard? We should. But you know what, though? This is not my decision to do all this stuff. Um, I feel bad enough it took me two weeks since our interview to be able to touch base with auditing Haverhill Mass and then to get back out here. So. Well, I'm glad you did because I was uh, accosted and harassed. They came knocking on my door for a domestic... I domestic violence call and there was no domestic in my house there's never a domestic in my house and uh i recorded them do that uh, i recorded the video too on that pure retaliation man they know exactly Intimidation, what retaliation. they want to donate life they're too busy trying to take it that's why the funeral director is in such a rush business is booming I'm a well-known disc jockey in massachusetts what i got here uh, green girl Love all you folks. This is for the daughter. Take care. Perfect. She's up to 121. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we're going to go outside and set, set shop up on the sidewalk. Um, I'd like, to, I'd like to, to engage in my, my right to peaceful protest. Would you guys like to um, call it a day, or do you want to engage in some peaceful protesting? It's up to you. It's been a long day. You've had to watch that video a couple we'll times. Call it a day. Call it a day? Got, okay. Okay. We got the message across. Some of them were very distraught by the video. Yeah. To know that it's happening in Haverhill, Mass, is disgusting. The narcotics unit are, are doing all the traffic stops here. So if the, tra the narcotics unit is not busy enough, they should disband that department and uh, give them uniforms and put them out in the, in the traffic. But they're committing traffic stops, taking people out of their cars, you know, just creating fear. Yep. Intimidate, intimidate, intimidate. That is the way. So we thought that was for us. <laughs> now they know better. They came the last time. So obviously, someone from the Haverhill PD is watching now. Your message to them? There needs to be accountability. I want badges. These guys need to. I don't even. I don't even believe in train uh, retraining. I, I think they they need to turn in their badges and their gun. There could have been so many different ways they could have handled that. Uh, accountability Angel. No, the video is not on my channel um, yet. And to be perfectly frank with you, I'm going to have a lot of trouble posting the video on the channel um, because it involves a minor. Um, but. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up an email thread. So if you want to email me, I'll email you the video. And uh, a little bit of it will be in my coverage of this. Uh, which is the reason I wanted to come live. And uh, show sure everyone what's, what's going on today. So if you want to check him out, his name is Eddie from Auditing Haverhill, Massachusetts. Auditing Haverhill, Massachusetts. And then we got MAA Audits. MAA. Hey, fuck the police! You beat any kids today, you scumbag? That was the cop that came last time. Too much of a coward to jump out oh, the car yeah, today. Freaking, yeah. Yep, I that was. Look on his face. Yeah. That disdain on his face. Yeah, too much of a coward to come back and get out the car and talk to us. Was it? He wasn't him that beat beat her up, was it? Uh, no. No. But you know what's going on here in here? They're being trained by the uh, veterans that have been here for like 25 years. They're still on the force, and these guys are just like, they have no body camps. So they're, they're training these young officers, and look at the outcome. Yep. One yeah. of these days, somebody's just gonna freaking 
it's going to be the wrong day. They're going to end up killing a child. And that's what I don't want. All right, guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for the folks that have donated. We appreciate all of you. And thanks for the folks that have showed up here today to support Auditing Haverhill, Massachusetts. Uh, this is a serious conflict, right? Um, everything that we do, even if you look at the preamble to the United States Constitution, is designed to protect ourselves, secondly, but our posterity first. What we're doing is so we leave this world a little bit better than we found it, uh, and that we can give our kids the best possible life ever. Those kids should never have to worry when they're getting on a school bus if the police drive by and they're in a bad mood. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to uh, Auden in Haverhill, Massachusetts. I need the support. Um, I need, I need, I need, the, I need to have the backup in order to move forward with these guys. I'm still a little bit afraid of the uh, retaliation tactics that they use here. Um, but if I had the support and the subscribers on my channel, then I don't have anything to worry about other than having the we the people behind me. Oh, you know what? Stay live. Stay live for a second, guys. This video is not. I can um, if the mods haven't already. Um, let me let me just I can drop this link real quick guys. Hold on. Stay there, don't move. Wait a second. How many, how many viewers do you have? Like eight hundred. That's just that we're towards the end of it. Uh, hold on guys. Of course the app sack don't want you, hold on. When it trickles down to the juveniles, then that's a problem. That's a huge problem. Guys, hold on one second. I'm putting it in the chat now. They need to have um, caseworkers or therapists uh, on a shift for situations like this. They do have truant officers that they could have utilized. And at least ask the girls questions. Where are your parents? Are they working? Are they home? None of which was done. All right, guys, if you look in the chat right now, you're going to see a pinned message. It's right there. Uh, it says sub now. That's auditing Haverhill, Massachusetts. I want everyone here to go there because the next update that's going to come on this video is going to be from him. So simply look at the top of your chat. You're going to see accountability for all. Highlighted in uh, in yellow. Let me hold that still for you. Hey, fuck the police! <laughs> so go over, auditing Haverhill, Massachusetts. Let him know that accountability for all sent you. Thank you guys, man. I appreciate it. And uh, guys, just so you know, from from one father to another. We protect our kids, and we don't let this shit go down, and that's the reason I stopped you today.